and then all of a sudden we heard pop, 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 pop again, and we looked over, and then we looked at each other and we got down, and everybody's just yelling, get down, get down, get down. At least 59 people were killed and more than 500 injured at Las Vegas' Route 91 Harvest Festival on Sunday night in what's being called the deadliest mass shooting in modern American history. Billboard's Dave Brooks was at the scene of the shooting Monday where he surveyed the aftermath of the attack and spoke with witnesses who were there. Here's what they had to say. It got dark and just and everyone got down, everyone was rushing. People were getting trampled, it was pretty fucking terrifying. It's probably a good like 15, 20 minutes of straight firing. I don't know if I want to go to a concert for a while, that's We've been for sure. For four years, so this is our, this is our, this is our fourth year. I was just terrified because we didn't know where it was coming from and the fact that we just heard it keep going and going and going no matter how far we ran. And we saw Jason um, take off off stage, so we took off as fast as we can over the first gate that we saw. I ended up seeing quite a few um, wounded victims, including a guy that was holding his chest from um, being shot. We heard the pops and, you know, it sounded like gunfire, but you, we didn't see anything. There was nothing visual to tie it into the gunfire. You know, as you're running out, you can hear people, you know, like people getting hit. I'm pretty traumatized, to be honest. Like I've the mount, like the visions I saw in my head just keep playing and replaying and replaying and I just feel like I just like at this point I just want to go home. And I mean I still don't even realize it's real. You know it's coming yeah. in waves that it's happening and I mean I'd like to hope that it's not going to affect me because I don't like to think of a shooter as having that influence over us. You know yeah. he doesn't deserve the credit. He doesn't deserve to change our lives. Once the music stopped, I she crouched down. I jumped on top of her, and then it was like a brief pause and we took off running. The bullets was still. It sounded like. Somebody was on foot walking around in the venue shooting. It, it didn't sound like that at all. Somebody was so far away. When 9-11 happened, people were afraid to fly, you know. People may be scared to go to these big venues. I mean, I'm a big country music fan, and I'm not going to let this, you know, hinder that. We were just singing, dancing, and all of a sudden we heard pop, 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 pop. And everybody looked around, and I said, people shouldn't be doing fireworks like that when, in this day and age. It's scary. And a girl about five feet behind us was hit, and the bullets were hitting up in the rocks and flipping them up on us. I will continue to go to concerts. I won't let somebody like that take over my life. Well, I don't want to be controlled by, yeah. by that. I, I think we should be able to live our lives. and. I don't want to stay cooped up in my home for the rest of my life. That's not a life. Finally, uh, the shooting stopped, and this guy in this black shirt come around the corner, and they'd opened the gate, and he says, you see that gate over there? When I tell you to run, you run as fast as you can, and you don't stop and don't look back. And he got up, and he started yelling, run, run. And I ran and ran as fast as I could. It was so scary. It's what I saw last night of people coming together and not caring about anything else except helping the person that's on your right and your left was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen.